Do you think I was gonna not make a video about the Frontiers Combat? You're fucking dead wrong. Hello everybody, my name is Jeb Deb, and we, two hours ago, three hours ago now, we got a look at the Sonic Frontiers Combat. Look, see? Now, uh, unfortunately, I, uh, was unaware of this, so I missed the live stream. <laughs> However, though, um, I did watch the video after, uh, and then figured I need to make a video on this. Now, I'm probably going to be showing off less of stuff compared to what I showed off in the world premiere video, because <laughs> I pretty much showed off like 95% of the video. Um, there's a, a battle that I am going to leave out for you guys to check on your own accord, but I just want to really uh, deep dive down into something that I think is going to be a very interesting feature in Sonic Frontiers also. Uh, first off, can I just say, like, look at this. So this is a... This is either a different area of the map, or there's day and night cycles, which honestly I'm pretty stoked for. So first off, let me show- shut up IGN guy, no one cares, no one likes you. Let me show you, obviously as you can see IGN first, uh, they're gonna be doing this all throughout June. Um, but here's the combat. Uh, so before we continue, um, it is a new threat, as the IGN guy said, but I told him to shut up, so. No Eggman, no Eggman here, completely new threat, which means uh, when the game comes out and we get to sample the story, we're gonna really see what this is all about. But, look at this. So, it may look like your stint, obviously, you know, you get hurt, you get hit, lose your rings. But, I mean, you may think it's almost a reworked version of the normal combat. But then there's, then there's that. Um... That weird, like, rapid strike move. Um, and we'll, we'll bring, we'll mention that real quick, because, uh, I need to. So it looks like you can really do these, um, whenever you want. They almost look like combo finishers from something like Kingdom Hearts. Now, I don't know about you. But those look like upgrade points. So, my assumption is there is going to be a, like, an ability upgrade system in which you spend whatever these mysterious things are. We, once again, we have no confirmed names on anything other than the game name. So, whatever the, I'm just going to call them upgrade chips because they look like that. They look like upgrade chips, so you can spend these upgrade chips on Sonic's tree, and I'm assuming you can unlock a plethora of abilities. Now, I don't know what these abilities will pertain to because I don't have access to the game, but I'm assuming, uh, Maybe outside of just combat, maybe there's like other stuff like, I don't know, maybe hold on to more rings when you get hit. Um, I don't know, uh, run faster, boost faster, boost longer, increased wall running speed, increased combo damage. I'm assuming just very basic stuff for what would be a Sonic game like this. Which is interesting though because... What do the orbs do? For all those who don't know, uh, last time I took a look at the World Premiere video, uh, I speculated that there would be, like, orbs in which you would have to use those to increase your power. However, though, it appears that's not the case. So, my question now is, what are the orbs? Are the orbs used for opening up areas of the new world? Are the orbs used for, I don't know, do you need the upgrade chips and orbs to get certain upgrades, like these combo finishers? I don't know. But here we have another encounter with the same enemy. Uh, he gets hit quite a bit during these, so... As you can see, 
it looks like you can really, uh, do a lot. And then there's that. Which, once again, I'm assuming is another ability you will be able to learn through these upgrade chips. And here's another type of enemy. Which, obviously, as you can see, relies more on this system. Now, it's very obvious now that that is going to be a big crux of the gameplay. The weird circle thing. Uh, I don't have a name for it other than uh, magic shit. So... Uh, also, uh, a small detail I missed in the world premiere was when Sonic was moving the statue thing, his hand was glowing, so obviously Sonic has some sort of new ability in this new world, maybe like a special ring or something, or whatever, that allows him to control certain things and be able to do that weird ring motion. I mean, I this looks pretty cool. I'm liking this combat though, it's a lot open, matches the open world, um, I'm not gonna lie, these camera angles are kind of giving me Final Fantasy XV combat vibes, I don't know if they were directly inspired by it or not, but it's kind of, kind of what it's doing, you can see, more of those chips, and, um, I'm assuming they're not going to show the HUD until either a couple weeks or something before the game releases, or they're not going to show it at all, because I would like to see what the HUD of the game would look like, you know, like, uh, also take a shot every time I say the words like or uh in this video. Yeah, but I want to see what the, the HUD looks like, you know, like how many of these upgrade chips you have. I don't know, like the boost meter, or maybe that weird circle thing Sonic does has like a a meter in which it's full. But the more you use it, it slowly drains down, which prevents you from dry, dragging this line like across the whole map or something. Um, so, uh, there's very different areas in here. Uh, I don't really know if you can tell because of my terrible phone quality when recording with a PlayStation camera. But you can kind of see more of the environment. You can even see an orb. Uh, maybe if you watch it on your own, you'll be able to see it, but you can see, uh, there is one thing I will say, though, and that's just having all the platforms and whatnot kind of haphazardly around is kind of a little meh. However, though, I, I don't care. I'm not really someone to judge level design. That's not something I do. Uh, the only thing I really don't like is, uh, when games have, like, not open world stuff like this and have like linear level progression and whatnot and the levels are way too fucking big. But other than that, stuff like this and whatnot, I'm, I'm not a nitpicker so it's fine by me, but I will admit it is kind of funny how rails and platforms are just kind of haphazardly floating in the air. I don't know, maybe, maybe there will be something in the game story that'll explain why things are just around. So as you can see there, it also looks like you can use it as more so of a utility tool in combat as well. Now this game does say it's going to have bosses in it, and they show a boss early in the trailer, however though I'm not going to show that because I want you all to experience it on your own. Uh, well, I'll show you a little bit of it because there's one thing I want to talk about, but I'm not going to show you most of it. Now this is a pretty cool thing because it looks like there's going to be like little mini group encounters as well. Now these look like your normal grunt enemies, you know? Now I don't know like if these enemies are going to like constantly be respawning as you run through the area and whatnot, but... I kind of like it. And honestly, so far, everything about this game has still kept me consistently hype. I mean, the combat looks pretty nice. Um, the game looks beautiful. 
I'm definitely going to be very uh, exploration focused. Alright, now this is where uh, they show off a boss. However, though, I'm going to I'm gonna skip ahead a little here for uh, one thing without really showing you the boss. You know. Because I want some... Uh, so here's a little snippet of the boss. So it looks like you're able to do something like this with the boss. And then... You get a gear. Which is a very interesting thing because not only do we have these upgrade chips, but we also have upgrade gears. Which is weird because now that implies that there are some abilities in which you will only be able to learn by defeating these little mini boss things. I won't exactly consider them a proper boss. Uh, I'm assuming these are just casually found throughout the world, you know. But. You get these weird upgrade gears on top of the chips, and maybe some, maybe the gears are what I thought the orbs would originally be. So you use upgrade chips and these upgrade gears to get your new abilities, your new super abilities, that is, and as opposed to the orbs, or maybe you use all three, I don't know. Once again, I don't have access to the game, so I'm just speculating. Uh, it is pretty cool, though, to see... Uh, also, throughout the tra I'm just making sure there was nothing I missed. Uh, throughout the trailer, we can hear s <clears throat> a little bit of uh, Sonic's combat voice lines. However, it's mostly just, you know, the hups and the hoes and the ahs. So, nothing all too crazy. But um, So, that's the combat. There's going to be an upgrade system in it, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, I feel like if the cards were played right, you can probably do some absolutely nutty shit with Frontiers' combat. Uh, you, I can imagine you'd be able to do some bonkers, like, Kingdom Hearts Infinite Horizontal Slash type of shit if you spec your character right, um, your spec Sonic right. Uh, I also don't know if there's gonna be, like, a giant tree that just has everything, or if there's gonna be, like, several different trees in which they all focus to a different thing, like, one focuses on just, like, exploration, one focuses on combat, one focuses on, I don't know, whatever other, there's a weird ring line, weird magic shit. So, I don't know, I'm just speculating, I think that's what would be good, because then, you know, you can really, uh, see where you are in the game, and, uh, judge your actions based off of that, and, like, what you should spec into next. Um, personally, though, I really just want to see the HUD. I want to see, you know, the, you know, the, the, the user interface, you know, I want to see, like, the pause menu, the map screen, all that sort of stuff, because it's going to be very interesting to see nonetheless, and that's really all I want. I, I would rather wait for the game to come out and for me to get it to witness parts of the story as opposed to me having to wait to see the HUD in the game. I, I want to see the HUD, and I'll, I'll wait for the story. Um, but I wonder how the story's going to work. Like, is it going to be move from point A to point B? Is it going to be uh, you have to find a, a little fucking guy or girl in the world and talk to them, and they'll continue? Uh, I have no idea, but er uh, later on, uh, they're going to do a developer interview. So maybe... Uh, I'll tune in to that, see what the developers have to say and whatnot. Yeah, but, uh, so, if you want to see the rest of that boss and what it looks like and some other cool mechanics, uh, obviously, go watch the video. Uh, oh, I'm not, not going to show that, obviously, because that's a pretty big thing. I only wanted to show off the upgrade gears because I feel like that's important, so. We're getting a combat upgrade system, maybe some other stuff. But I really just want to see what the HUD looks like. That's all I care for. Now, anyway, now that I've really seen the world in combat, I've seen the HUD, so that way, you know, I can be like, oh, okay, these things do that. Uh, but I'm still incredibly stoked for this game. I am very happy. Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, I don't think the game looks horrible or something. I mean, I will admit, like I said earlier, the rails and platforms being just kind of there, so a little like, 
and then and I will admit it does kind of look a little bit like a tech demo, a little bit like a public tech demo, kind of like most of its games after Doom and Quake. <coughs> yeah, but uh, it does look like that a little bit. But once again, I don't care. All right, that that's not my battle. That's not my hill to die on. So whatever. Uh, I'm still gonna get the game regardless of whatever happens with it. But the only thing I wonder is, is there going to be like a super boss you get to fight at the end if you collect enough of these orbs or something? Or if there's going to be like, um, a whole lot of like other gimmicky shit, like little mini arenas and whatnot. I hope so. And anyway, it'll add on more, uh, spice. Uh, I'm also excited to see like brand new characters appear because this is obviously not in Sonic's normal universe, so there's no Eggman, there's no Tails, none of that. It's all gonna be brand new characters, maybe. Not maybe all new, maybe Tails and Eggman will find a way to sneak in there, but for the most part, uh, that'd be pretty cool. And another thing I have is, like, any potential DLC for this game, because I feel like what they could do is they could have Sonic Frontiers and then have, like, little DLCs where it's, like, its own new world and whatnot. But he got to play as another character, you know, like, I don't know, maybe, let's say, I don't know, there was some, like, fucking called, like, Strike the Echidna or something, I don't know. And he was there, and fucking, he got, like, his own thing where you got to think about it as, like, uh, with Lost Judgment, how you have the Kaido files, where you get to play as Kaido in his own campaign. I feel like they could do that with Sonic Frontiers with some of the newer characters or some of the more iconic Sonic characters, like Tails, Knuckles, whatever. But, still definitely looking forward to this, and, um, I will see if I can, when the videos, when new videos come out, I'll see what they're about, and talk about it here, so, thank you all for tuning in, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!